so this is the very first house build that I've done not on the Sims 4 but like that I've done actually to like record it and put it on YouTube because I'd seen a couple other houses like this um, that are kind of Tumblr inspired I think one of the I think it was like Kaiwaii Simmer or um, like Leaving Fireflies or something something like that I'll try and find their um, YouTube channels and link them in the description below so you can check out um, their houses and I just I really like the Tumblr inspired houses I think they look really original and really cool so I really want to try that here um, the outside is not very Tumblr at all it's kind of just like something you'd see in Oasis Springs in The Sims um, I think it looks really cool though and the inside is super like it seems like someone bought this house and then like just made the inside their own. It looks really great. Like it doesn't match the outside, but it looks pretty good. Um, I'm kind of proud of myself. Um, you can actually search this on the gallery. I think my EA origin is Justice Bananas. And you can also see my other houses. Um, and I've also done some other lots other than residential lots. I've done, I think the only other one I've done is a, um, a nightclub. But, yeah, no, um, I've also got, like, a dollhouse. That was a lot of fun to build. Um, and some, just some other things, but this was a lot of fun to build. Um, just putting in, like, little fences here and there. The main color scheme was, like, oh, yeah, here I tried to do, like, bushes on the awnings. You know, you kind of see, like, awnings with, like, plants on them. That's what I was trying to do here, and it didn't really work so like it looked okay but I don't know uh, maybe maybe some other time okay but um, I thought it just looked weird with all the other plants and stuff I had but yeah I'm just putting some plants now uh, I think just adding like random bushes and flowers makes everything look so much nicer um, yeah it just it just really opens up the house just makes it look a lot classier, more like lived and more like someone takes care of the lawn and it just, even in like real life, you just see like a house that's got like plants in it, it's just like, that's a nice looking house. Also I tried doing this fencing but it made it seem like it was a room, it had like, it deleted the grass, or like just made it a room so I went with that other fence and it looks a lot better. Anyway, I just sized up a car, made it a little more lifelike I guess. I think that's- whoever came up with the idea to like size up cars is a genius. <laughs> I think that is so cool. Okay, well anyway, I'm doing the uh, rooms here. This room- or this house has one bathroom and one bedroom. I kind of like to imagine like a girl lives here, like a girl fresh out of college or something. She just needs a home to live in and picked this one and made it her own totally. I think it looks so great. I think maybe the dining area is kind of big for whoever may be living here, but um, I don't know. I really I really like making big dining rooms and they just look so fancy. Um, now we're moving into the living room. I really tried doing something that was, I don't know, Tumblr inspired, but it ended up just being kind of super colorful. Um, I love that little cocker spaniel dachshund little statue thing. I use it like in my in like every house build I do. I love it so much. Um, I think I do a dark yeah dark blue couch and then a red chair that really ties in with that painting a little pop art painting on the wall. <clears throat> and um, also there's no custom content in this build. I don't use custom content, I've got a really crappy computer and it would probably corrupt my game and I'm too lazy to do that like to like back up your game or whatever. <laughs> so I'm like, eh, just won't use custom content. I like I like the what the game has. I think I think it all looks really good, especially those chairs. I love those chairs. I use them for like everything. Um I'm also putting in some yeah, shelving here. I think shelving looks really great on walls, just like for filler stuff. Um, it just, it makes things a little more interesting. And there's not a lot of stuff that you can like throw on shelves. You can always do, um, like raise items up, but weirdly for me, whenever I do that, it, whenever I like add color to a wall, it deletes any item that I use the like nine button to raise up, which is really, really weird. And that kind of angers me. But, so, like, I always forget, though, to go back and change it once I've, like, done all the wall colors. I just need to remember to, like, 
because I'm just too lazy after I finish with all the wall colors. I don't want to go back and like fix everything. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, that like James Bond kind of poster thing looks so cool. I thought that looked really good there. And I, I don't think I've ever used that before. Um, put in that the guitar. I thought that looked pretty cool. Oh, those little like tea light things. I don't know. They look cool. I don't think I've ever used those either. I used a lot of things in this build that I usually don't use. Like the those chairs I never use. And that one lamp you can see, um, the little pink lantern lamp, I never use that either, but I really like it in this build. Um, there's so many other things I usually don't use. Like I usually don't use that many colors, like that many colorful things. I have a lot of fun picking out just like random colors to throw. Also those like pop art, um, the llama pop art like picture things. I never use those either, but I'm, I love them so much. So I was like super excited to use those. Um, so like I said, I kind of envision a girl living here. So in the bathroom, I made it a little more lived in and had a couple of girly things like that little tray of makeup and little perfumes. Um, the bathroom ended up being green, it's not going to be that purple. Um, and then I just changed everything, all the other colors. I had this like paneling on uh, the wall with the TV. You can see it in a bit here. Yeah, that. I think that looks really cool actually. But yeah, I kept that there and then made the other wall green and had that one black. I think the black and the orange looks really good together. And uh, yellow is actually the color I used for the dining room and I think it looks looks pretty good. I mean, even with the orange, it still it still looks pretty good. And then I uh, pop in that pop art. <laughs> pop in the pop art. No. Okay, the little llama. Yeah, that guy. That is such a cute painting. I love that, and I never get to use it, so I think I use that twice, actually, except in the bedroom I use a sloth one. <laughs> oh, my voice hurts. I never talk this long. Okay. Also, I just noticed today when I was doing this build that there are dishwashers. I had no idea there were dishwashers. Like, it must have came with the recent update. But I was so ecstatic. I was like, oh, yes, I'm using this right now. Um, also, those like little, little shelving things with little like plates and bowls in them. I never used those either, but I thought those looked kind of cool there. And I just put a couple of cabinets. Other than that, there's just a bunch of shelving, which looks a lot better in my opinion. Um, I just put some random things on there. I put some little books on the shelving as if it, there were like, you can see them here, as if they're like cookbooks. I don't know. You can change it if you download this from the gallery. Also, yeah, I added in a plant, a little potted plant. And that chrome, um, I usually use like a regular trash can. I never use that one that you like make money off of. I don't know. I just, I don't think it looks very good. So I always use like the chrome one or just like if I'm doing, um, like a family house, I'll do like the white one. I just think it looks a lot better. Also, I didn't know what to do in that corner over there. So I just put a chair and a bookshelf. So I was like, I don't know. I added another, oh, and now we're onto the bedroom. My favorite part. I never used that little wall light either, and I thought that looked so cool. Um, I think this room, though, is like the most Tumblr thing about this house. Uh, I love the walls. There's that pop art painting again, um, an easel, very, a lot of like hobby related things, um, just a lot of clutter on the shelving. And I like that lamp too. I think it looks really tumblery, and so I had some. Um, open shelving here for a closet. Oh yeah, and I had to put in like that plush dinosaur thing. I totally have that in my room. I actually have like a huge pink dog in my room that I've had since I was like super young. Um, but I thought that that dinosaur was super cute, so I just threw that in. And um, I was gonna put these like black, yeah, those things there, but they just did not look good. So I threw in the green one. I think that looks a lot better. And. I also end up putting one of those glass chairs in here later on, uh, next to the dinosaur. I just I thought it needed some other seating, like somewhere she could go if she wanted to like read or something or like study. I don't know, but it, yeah, there it is. It's probably not that comfortable, but okay, whatever. Also, those rainbow hearts look like way too. I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever use those rainbow hearts. I think they're really cool, 
but I just I don't see myself using them in any build ever. I think I used them once in like a little girl's room. It was like super rainbowy. Um, oh yeah, and I thought those snowflakes looked like seriously like um like tea lights or something or fairy lights. I so, I was like I'm putting those in. Those look so cool. Um, and now we're just moving on to the back and. Um, yeah, the, uh, the video's almost done, and I'm gonna have, like, an outro, so I hope you enjoyed, and please download this on the gallery. I'll see you guys later.